In this video, a doctor endocrinologist will tell the rules of eating bananas with diabetes, and not only, yes, indeed, the banana is a fruit that is not recommended for patients with diabetes, insulin resistance, and obesity. However, some patients, when they come for an appointment, they say, doctor, I am ready to give up everything, from sweets, from flour, but I really like bananas, I am not ready to give them up. How can I eat bananas? Yes, we realize that ideally you should give up bananas, but these situations do happen. If you really love bananas, you should know the rules of eating them. That is, how bananas will bring us minimum harm, in fact, with maximum benefit. After all, if you consider the banana, then you need to understand that, as in any product, especially natural, of natural origin, it has its pluses. That is, banana is rich in vitamins and trace elements, in particular vitamins B1, B2, B6, beta carotene, vitamin C and vitamin PP, calcium, magnesium and iron, fluorine, phosphorus, sodium, potassium and others. Banana is good for the central nervous system. It is not for nothing that children often take a banana to school as a snack, because, firstly, it is delicious, and secondly, bananas increase the production of serotonin, that is, the neurotransmitter of pleasure, but which facilitates learning, improves memory, and increases concentration. So yes, it's not for nothing that they say banana is brain food. Naturally, there is some truth to this. Banana is rich in potassium and is good for the cardiovascular system, that is, both for the myocardium and the vascular wall, which is also very, very favorable for the body. In addition, banana is good for the intestines. It is important to understand that if the banana is not ripe, greenish, then part of the carbohydrates in it will not be digested. The so-called resistant starch, which is useful for intestinal peristalsis, that is, the movement of food through the intestine, and is also useful for intestinal microbiota, that is, for those beneficial intestinal bacteria that just improve digestion, which are responsible for the assimilation of vitamins and trace elements. I realize that a logical question will now arise. What about green bananas? Do green bananas have the same properties? After all, most of the carbohydrates there are not digested, and there is so-called resistant starch. Yes, it will raise blood sugar much less than a ripe banana, but you have to realize that it's still going to have easily digestible carbohydrates in it. So the increase in blood sugar will definitely be there. And the glycemic index, that is, the rate of increase in blood sugar after eating bananas, in particular, depends on how ripe the banana is. That is, if the banana is really yellow, so directly sweet, ripe, then it has a fairly high glycemic index, that is 51, fast rate of sugar rise. If the banana is not ripe, it's green, it has resistant starch in it, or the trick is, the banana is frozen. That is, we put in the freezer either a whole banana or whipped in a blender, for example, with strawberries, yes, and freeze it. We remember that cold foods are first heated, then digested, and because of this, the glycemic index will be lower. So if we want to actually eat a banana and keep blood sugar low, we either take an unripe, greenish banana, or we freeze and make accordingly a fruit ice cream of banana and grated sperry, and that will raise blood sugar less in that case. If you consider the protein, fat, and carbohydrate content of a banana, then yes, it is really quite a caloric product. That is 96 kilocalories per 100 grams, one and a half grams of proteins, nor 0.5 grams of fats, and as much as 21 grams of carbohydrates. That is really a high carbohydrate product. If you take one medium banana, 200 grams, there are as much as three and a half bread units in one banana, which is essentially a full meal for diabetes. If you really like bananas, how do you consume them properly? Obviously, before we eat a banana, we eat a protein and a vegetable. So, protein, fiber, and fat have a low glycemic index, a low rate of blood sugar rise. If we first ate, for example, a vegetable salad with chicken, and after that ate a banana, whose glycemic index is 51, fast enough, after eating protein, fiber, fat, carbohydrates are digested more slowly. Therefore, the only option for eating bananas with impaired carbohydrate metabolism is to eat them in the first half of the day, for breakfast or lunch, after a full meal, after protein, after fiber, after fats. 
So, for example, a vegetable salad with tuna or chicken dressed with coconut oil and a banana right after it. Another option for eating carbohydrate foods that digest fairly quickly is exercise. Exercise is known to take off, burn off excess blood sugar, and then lower blood sugar levels. So before exercising, as a carbohydrate load that strengthens us, you can eat fruit, you can even, including eating a banana. The main thing here is to realize that the workout should be active, with a pronounced strength or cardio component, to really actively lower blood sugar levels. Of course, if you have to choose between a banana and a fruit with a lower glycemic index, whether it's an apple, pear, orange, tangerine, then certainly for an overweight diabetic patient, the lower glycemic index fruit is more preferable, apple, orange, pear, tangerines, and so on. Banana and grapes are still the exception fruits that we try to exclude from our diet as much as possible. But if you do decide to sin, then after the main meal and literally in a small amount to taste, but without giving yourself a pronounced rise in blood sugar. And now, attention, contraindications to eating bananas include 1. Excess potassium, hyperkalemia. Bananas are rich in potassium, which is good for the heart and blood vessels, but can be harmful for people with kidney failure or those taking medications that affect potassium levels in the body. 2. Gastrointestinal disorders. Bananas can cause constipation in some people, especially if consumed in large quantities. They can also aggravate symptoms if you have gastritis or reflux due to their acidity. 3. Banana allergies. Although allergies to bananas are rare, they can cause skin rashes, itching, swelling, and even anaphylactic shock in sensitive individuals. 4. Overweight or obese. Bananas are caloric and contain carbohydrates, which can contribute to weight gain if consumed in excess and not factored into the overall caloric balance of the diet. Anyone who has difficulties or health conditions that may be aggravated by eating bananas should consult a doctor or dietitian before incorporating them into their diet. More information on this topic can be found at the links in the description below this video and on our channel. Subscribe and hit the bell for all notifications. Please like and share this video with your friends. Thanks to our sponsors for their support. I eagerly await your comments and encourage you to watch these useful videos.